Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Happy New Year to all of you, and welcome to our prayer time of 2023. We are grateful for this day, and we are happy to be once again in the room of prayer for the beginning of the new year. We hope and pray that everyone has had a wonderful holiday and a Merry Christmas and a great new year, and hope that we find you uh, with all things well. And so we, again, are ecstatic and uh, we are happy today to be back in this forum uh, where we can come together, uh, touching and agreeing on the same thing, knowing that the Lord will be in our midst. Uh, this is a new year. This, this, we have left the year of 20 and 22, and we have embarked and we're now journeying journeying in the year of 2023. We pray that uh, as we, uh, good afternoon, doing great, happy new year to you as well. We hope that uh, whatever happened in 20 and 22, that the Lord will come bless, continue to bless you in 2023. Uh, I'm uh, happy to be back. I thank the Lord for keeping us and keeping you uh, for those two weeks that we were away from one another. Um, thank God for his grace, and I thank God for his mercy. Uh, and um, just thank him for his love and his understanding and his patience and his kindness. And uh, just thank God for you and your families, and and just, just happy to be back uh, in this prayer time. I'm waiting now for the rest of our constituents uh, come um, waiting on others who might would join us on this day on this fourth day of january in the year of 2023 again what a wonderful uh privilege it is just to be alive uh we we understand and uh, it's unfortunate that uh some of the people that were with us uh in the last year uh will no longer be with us in this year uh some of them have gone on to glory uh, to be with the Lord, and we certainly submit to that. We certainly submit to the fact that uh, God is yet still in control in this where it seems like there's so much chaos and confusion. It's refreshing to know that God is yet still in control. So we are ecstatic about that. We are happy about that. And so we're just waiting again for those who would come and share with us uh, on this day. Uh, the world, there's so much going on. There's no doubt about it. As we look out and we listen and we observe and we pay attention to this and that, uh, it's, there's no doubt that there's a lot of things going on. Uh, and uh, they're all going on simultaneously. Uh, we can't hardly prepare for one event uh, because while we are preparing for one event, another event is occurring. And so uh, we just want to pray for people all over the world, people all over the world. Before we get Pacific today in our list, uh, I just, I want, I want to pray for all of the people all over the world, all over the globe, all over the continent, you know, uh, North America, Central America, um, uh, South America, just all over the globe, Asia, Europe, all of these, all of these places below the equator and above the equator, just everybody, because uh, there's there's stuff going on everywhere, good and bad. You know, a lot of times we talk about the bad stuff, but there's a lot of good stuff going on as well. And so we pray for the continuance of those things that are good and productive and those things that are helping families and people of benefit. We pray for the continuance of those things. Uh, hello, wife. We pray for the continuance of those things, but we also pray for the eradication of those things that are not good. But there, all over the world, people are experiencing uh, what we are experiencing in America. People other places are experiencing something else. The highs and lows that we experience in America are not always the highs and lows that somebody else is experiencing in other countries. People are starving. 
Uh, people are without water. P people don't have adequate medicine and food. And so problems are everywhere. And, and no matter if you get on a plane and go from one end of the earth to the next end of the earth, that you can't you can't get away from it. it it's, it's a fact. It's a fact of life. It's a fact of life. So we are we're going to do what Paul. Hey, brother Sanders, how you doing, my friend? And you know, um, we're just going to do what the Bible said. We're going to we're going to do what Paul advocates for us to do. And Paul told us to be content. Uh, with our position in life. In other words, Paul is saying, no matter what we're dealing with, no matter what kind of hand uh, life uh, has given us, uh, we got to make the best of it. And so we just we're just grateful to God, and 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 we just thank God for uh, His providence, uh, provisional blessings. And again, we just people are still dealing with. There's a reoccurrence of COVID in in China and some of these uh, countries in Asia, and so we. We pray for those people uh, still still dealing with it here in our states, and and along with all of the that we have babies that are uh, that are sick with R uh, R R V and and even my own grandkids have a, have experienced some sickness and uh, temperature uh, running up, and 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 there's a shortage of supplies in terms of cold medicine and and Tylenol and all, so. We just we're we're at a point we at a point where we've always been, but it's more highlighted now than it ever has been in the history of time. Uh, we're just at a point where we we just completely totally uh, dependent upon God to make provision, and and I have no uh, problem with putting my confidence in Him, because regardless of what's going on, I know He will provide. His word said that He will provide, and so I'm I'm confident in that. Um, and then when He don't provide from from the stores or whatever, he 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 has a he always got another plan. So I'm I'm to, I'm I'm told I'm 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 in I'm sold in because I know that he'll take care of us and I know he'll make the best of our situation. I just want to um, at this time but while we're still waiting, I just want to read uh, a scripture and I think that's what I'm going to try to do every time that we get together. I'm actually trying to read a scripture that's relevant uh, to what we're doing. I found one today. Uh, I found a, a particular scripture in Hebrews uh, chapter four and verse uh, 16. And I thought that this would be a good scripture for us to read, or for me to read rather. It says, let us uh, then with confidence. It says, let us then with confidence draw uh, near to the throne of grace. This is Hebrews four and 16 says this, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need, uh, and so I, I thought that would—I thought that was very befitting uh, of, of need that uh, that would be helpful to us today. So uh, it says, "Let us draw to the throne." And so that's that's what we do here every Wednesday at noon. Uh, we draw to the throne. So I'm going to get ready uh, uh, to get ready to present our, uh, our names today. Uh, and I've revamped some of these names uh, on the list. Uh, and uh, hello, Sister Annette, how are you today? And so Happy New Year to you as well. Um, so I'm going to start off. Uh, I know that everybody, anybody that's in, in America, in, in, uh, anybody that's a sports fan, anybody that's been close to TV, whether it's CNN, MSNBC, and I hope that I don't watch Fox, but hopefully they have enough humanity that they – They've covered it as well, but anybody that's been new, close to the radio, TV, or whatever, uh, the social network or the internet or whatever, we all know that on the other night during the Monday night football game, uh, there was a situation while they were playing football there, entertaining us and and all that they do for the in the NFL. There was a young man who who uh, suffered a major uh, a major. I don't know if it was a injury when he when he went to hit somebody uh his name is uh demar hamlin and i'm sure this is a name that probably resonate with all of us because again if you've been by a tear unless you've been in a cave or had your head in the sand you you can't help but to have heard this young man's name uh who is in the hospital there in cincinnati uh actually in critical condition and uh, so we're praying for uh brother uh, uh demar hamlin uh, I think his number may very well be number three, and he plays for the Buffalo Bills. Uh, went into cardiac arrest, 
on Monday night and they had to do the CPR on on the field and now he's in ICU and we're praying for him and we're praying for his mother and we're praying for uh, all of his family and we know that he's actually at this point fighting uh, for his life but we but we know that we serve a God is able to resuscitate we we know that we serve a God is able to fix his heart and uh, repair whatever damage that might be done and so we left that young man and his family up on. He's on the forefront of our prayers today. I think all over the nation, we're, they're praying for him and we want to enjoin ourselves to that vigil. And we want to continue to pray for that young man and his family. It all will work out uh, in his favor and that God will get the glory. Uh, and everything that happens for us is for the glory of God. And, and so we just pray for that young man today that everything will be all right with him. Also on our list today, we want to ask a prayer for Sister Barbara Harris, who's at, at home. She, I talked with her on the other day, and she's feeling uh, better. And so we're praying for her speedy recovery and that she'll get back upon her feet and feel better in the days to come. We're asking prayers for Brother Clinton Henry. Uh, got a call, phone call on yesterday. Uh, he is in the hospital uh, there at the U UT uh, formerly East Texas Medical Center. Uh, and uh, when I talked to him on yesterday, he was in the ICU unit, the uh, cardio ICU unit, but he was anticipating that he would uh, be moving to a regular room on today. And so we are praying for Brother Clinton Henry. Uh, also, we are asking prayer for Sister Jean Golden, who is one of our pioneer members of our church, one of one of the members that probably one of one of the one of the members that was with the church when they first formulated many many years ago, and so we're asking prayers for Sister Jean Golden and 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 a speedy recovery from her illness as well. Uh, we're asking prayer for Sister Flora Williams, who is in the um, Providence uh, uh, nursing facility, uh, and so we're praying for her. Today, we're asking prayers for Sister Marjorie Sanders, uh, one of our older members, senior members, uh, and who's at home, and she's uh, 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 praying for her to get well and to get stronger and more vibrant. Praying for Sister Ethel Morrison, one of another one of our older members, uh, Sister Jenny Brown, which is one of our senior members as well. Uh, praying for. Uh, Brother Mac Wooten, uh, praying that everything will work out for him. Uh, hello there. Hello, Sister Dotson. How are you? Um, also praying for uh, Sister Fran uh, Dilworth and Sister uh, Ruth Ross. We know her as Sue Ross. Uh, praying for her and Brother Floyd Ross. Uh, praying for Brother uh, uh, Johnny Reed, which is my neighbor, and Brother... Henry Asbell and uh, Sister Estes Barber, um, asking prayer for Sister Loretta Walker and Sister Johnny Holland and our family, um, asking prayers for um, Brother Stephen Fry and Sister Kathy Bird and Sister Beverly Walker, um, asking prayers for Sister Ernestine Thomas and, and uh, Brother Gary Duffy and the Wiggins family. Uh, asking prayer for Brother Jesse and Sister Jean Lomax and uh, Brother John and, and Nadine Lomax and Sister Linda Johnson and uh, asking prayer for Sister Dorothy Butler and Sister Henrietta Nathaniel and the entire Nathaniel family, Brother Jack Jones and Sister Bernice Davis and Sister Sheila Bazell, uh, Brother Anthony Bryant and Sister Shirley Bird and, and uh, Beverly Bryant and Diane Crawford and Sandra Walker, asking prayer for Sister Bobby Willis and her son and, and uh, Sister Lisa Davis and Brother Daniel Morgan and Sister Sylvia Butler and Sister Angela Davis, Brother Barry Price and Sister Alberta Bell. Asking prayers for my granddaughter, Sister Blakely, uh, Blakely uh, Russell, who is, uh, uh, is back at the daycare, but uh, uh, got, I had some, sickness and and was running fever and and we pray that god will uh give her strength and, and make everything you know children one thing i've learned about children and all along with my grandson callum who also kind of had a little bout there with uh you got got so hot with his temperature that it kind of had a little seizure moment there 
Uh, and but one thing I've, I've learned about children, uh, especially children, 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 young children, is that they are very resilient. So we are praying for them, and all of these babies. Uh, there's there's hospitals full of babies, babies, infants, and and babies that are that are dealing with R R V and and uh, there's a shortage in medicine and 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 all of that kind of stuff. So we're praying for all of these babies in these pediatric units, uh, in these pediatric hospitals who are dealing with COVID related symptoms and so forth and praying for the daycare as where these children are going to school and praying that uh, uh, God will inoculate these places and so these kids can uh, be okay. So we're praying for them, praying for um, brother, uh, sister Celia Becker and we're praying for uh, uh, my grandson Callan uh, again, who had a little bout with uh, uh, some sickness and, and praying for his brother Kingston and his sister Kinsley, um, praying for uh, Sister Mandy, uh, Hill and her babe. Uh, it, is, it is sometime during this course of this month, she will be bringing her child home and, and we are praying for a safety, a safe arrival from the hospital to her home uh, and so that everything will work out for her child. And so we're praying hard for that. We're praying for Josephine Garrett and Phyllis Shackleford and Roy Joseph and Yvonne Hammonds and her son, Marcus Hammonds, my classmate. We're praying for Sister Kayla. Hey, that's Sister Bochamp. Praying for uh, Sister Kayla Franklin and uh, Sister Martha Hyder and uh, my own mother, Sister Ruby Brown and, and uh, uh, Sister Flora Williams and uh, uh, also, Jerron Keith uh, Robinson, we're praying, praying for him. Um, and so we're praying for uh, uh, Brother Ken Wheeler and his family. He um, Funeral services for uh, his loved one will be on Saturday at 11 o'clock at the New Jerusalem Baptist Church. And so we're praying for Brother Ken Wheeler. Some of you may not know that name, but he's the guy that, uh, that sells the snow cones on Gentry Park, where they have the best snow cones in Tyler. And so that's that's him. He, he uh, lost his loved one, and we're praying for uh, him and his family, um, praying for um, Calvin Johnson and his family, uh, the Sanders family. Uh, hey there, how you doing, uh, Andrea? Uh, also praying for uh, the Emmanuel family and Crawford family. Um, and they're lost, the Nathaniel family, uh, Sister Thomas and the Ford family, and, and all families, uh, uh, the Miller family, praying for them and their loss of their son and grandson. Uh, and so those are the names that I have. Uh, the Hampton, and we, we'll add the Hampton and the Taylor family. Thank you, Brother Sanders. Are there other names of individuals that we would like to add to our list today of individuals who are uh, uh, in need of prayer, if you, if you will just drop me a comment there again, I will uh, certainly re recite that. And then I want to add in conjunction with that, we have a standing list at our church. Uh, we have a standing list at our church. And so I'm praying for all of those people who are on our standing prayer list at our church. I want to include them. I don't have the list of every name, uh, but I submit the whole, I, I submit the whole list in, in its entirety so that they might be covered under this prayer umbrella today. So all of the new members of New Jerusalem that are on the uh, standing list at New Jerusalem, we wanna pray for them, praying for peace and praying for harmony, praying for healing and praying for forgiveness, uh, praying for financial blessings and uh, stability and steadfastness, just praying for all of these things, for all of these particular people, people that are dealing with depression, people that are dealing with anxiety, People are dealing with uh, broken relationships and broken friendships. Just whatever the problem might be, we we want to be we want that to be included in our prayer. Praying for our leadership. Uh, this country has got a bunch of wackos, uh, and yeah, I said that a bunch of wackos uh, in Congress and in the Senate, and and, and uh, praying, realizing that they they got people's lives in their hands. And so, uh, yeah, we will. We certainly will. Uh, Stevenson family today. Thank you for that, uh, Sister Andrea. Stevenson family. Uh, is there are there others? So we pray for the global community. 
Uh, pray for people that are that are starving, people that are without water, people that are having, you know, tornadoes. You know, I'm, I tell you, you know, I know God is in control of this thing, but snowstorms and tornadoes and, and 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 hurricanes and fires and droughts and uh, earthquakes and you know the you know the Bible tells us about all these things at the end of time these things would be occurring and they're all happening at the same time. You can't report on one thing because by the time you get through with that or something. So whenever these things occur, people are being disenfranchised. Every time these things occur, people are losing homes and 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 possessions and and so and and it impacts people. And so we're praying for these people who are going through these trying times, these times of uh, you know tri these tribulation times that people are experiencing. Uh, some people have insurance, some people don't. And so it, it just creates a situation uh, where people are, are disenfranchised. And so we we pray for that. We pray for that because here's the reality. It's over there now. Hello there. How you doing? So, hey, Nice, how you doing? Uh, and, uh, you know, we we just pray that, you know, everybody, you know, because like I said, some people got insurance, some people never recover. Some people pick the pieces up and they recover and some people never recover. And so we pray, we're praying for those who pick up the pieces, but then we're praying for those who never recover that they might recover. And so it's just a vast amount of things going on. And like I said, I'm not, I'm not here to prophesize on this, on, on this uh, channel today. I'm here to pray, but I know that the Bible is fulfilling itself. And I know that, you know, we, we better wake up and, and see that where we are and start crying to God. And, and and falling on our knees and getting down on our knees and asking God to forgive us and asking God to protect us and asking God to look out, out for our behalf because there are some things coming through the pipeline that we that we're not even aware of uh, and so we better get out on our knees uh, I'm telling you because uh, we just milling around here like you know everything gonna be all right when everything's not gonna be all right the only way everything's gonna be all right is that we put our trust in God. And that's where my trust is. I, I don't want to bad mouth uh, Republicans and Democrats. I don't want to bad mouth the White House. Maybe they do, some of them are doing the best they can. But my, my, my thing is, and even on the state level, uh, uh, and on state levels, all that, there are some good people who are really trying to fight. I believe that, uh, that are really trying to do what they're supposed to be doing. But then there's a faction of people who are just hell bent on uh, taking this country down. And so I'm praying for those who are fighting for justice, and I'm praying for those who are fighting uh, for peace and, and unity. That's who I'm, I'm praying for. I'm not praying for that faction of people who want to see this country go to hell and back. I'm not praying for them. I'm praying for the people who want to see this country go forward, who are doing all they can. So those are the politicians that I'm praying for, whether they be Democrats or Republicans, Independents, I don't care what their title is. As long as we, we we need to be together because a house divided cannot stand. So that's what I'm praying for. So if there's anybody else that got any other prayers other than that, drop me a line right quick. Drop me a comment. Give, shoot me a comment. I'm, 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 I'm looking at the screen. I can see your comments. Uh, send me a comment. Uh, if you got family members, uh, praying for thy service men and praying for our service women who are both... Uh, here and abroad, you know, we don't, we don't, I, I probably am guilty of not talking about them enough uh, because th those people are on the, some people are on the front line protecting, our, you know, we talk about democracy and our freedoms, you know, if it, if it wasn't for those people, uh, they really are the real heroes in my opinion. We talk about a lot of people being heroes, but some of these, some of these people we call heroes are not really, in my estimation, are not a heroic at all. But these people who, who, who are on the line, who put their lives on the line, uh, who are out there protecting our nation, who are out there protecting our freedom, we want, we want you know, we want little children uh, without their dads and mom because they're overseas serving. Uh, so we pray for those families as well, because certainly they need our prayers. We pray for those who are incarcerated, because I have sense enough to know that in this, just, in this legal system that we're in, it's not always fair. And there's a lot of people that have been caught up in the legal system who are not guilty of anything other than just being in the wrong place at the wrong time, are the victims of some kind of political scheme or whatever. So we pray for those families that have been, and even for the ones that were in the wrong, even the ones that did do wrong, we pray for their families. 
that, that and that their children they may have a child or a daughter or a son so we pray for them as well so the, so that i might summarize what i'm saying i'm praying for everybody that's standing in the need of prayer including myself now before we go to god in prayer is there any other names that you would like to submit pray for our children uh, that are in schools uh Pray for people that have been victimized by shootings. People are still shooting people. People are still stabbing people. Murder is still on the rise. Crime is still growing. So we pray for these people that have been victimized. We ain't forgot about you. We haven't forgot about Uvalde. We ain't for forgot about the people in Buffalo, New York, and the people in California, the people in Idaho, uh, the young people that was killed. Finally, they even found out who it was. We, we're praying for those kids, families. We're praying for them. They're in our prayers. So we, we're just praying for everybody that's been victimized by any kind of crime, who, who've been, whose family have been left with, with the loss of their loved one. So we're praying. All right, if there's no other name, let's, let's, let's go to God. Father God, in this new year, we come now in 2023, first of all, to say thank you. Thank you for crossing us over. Thank you for making it possible uh, uh, that we might cross over from 2022 to 2023. We thank you that uh, by your grace and your mercy, you have sustained us from one year to bring us to a new year. And for that, we pause at this juncture to say thank you. Because it's not anything that we've done. It's not because any regiment that we practice. It's not because of any path that we took. It's, it has everything to do with your grace and your mercy and so for that we stop by to say thank you thank you for what this year is thank you for what this year will bring we pray that throughout this year that you will protect us and and look out for our best behalf on our behalf we pray oh god that you would uh, just continue to be good because you're the same in 22 as you're going to be in 23 and 24 and whatever other years have become so we rely on that father god we thank you for your darling son jesus that you sent as a uh, substitute for our sin, that we might, uh, that he might die on a Roman cross, shed his innocent blood, give up his innocent body, that we might have an opportunity to eternal life, that we might have an opportunity to live eternally, to accept you, him, as our personal savior, and that our salvation would be saved and our salvation would be intact. So we thank you for the ultimate sacrifice that you made that we just celebrated a few days called Christmas, no Christmas without Christ. So we thank you for Christ, the son of God who came and lived among men and died like a man, but also died like a God. So we thank you now, Father God, for what it has yielded us, salvation and protection, redemption. And so we thank you for all of that, for the remission of all of our sins. Now, God, as we come today to pray in the name of Jesus, we, we ask, oh God, that you would uh, take in consideration everything that my mouth has uttered, to take in consideration every comment that has been typed. Thank you for every comment that has been given. We pray now, God, for the list that have been formulated here on this, uh, in this form. But we also thank you for the list that have already been formulated at the church and at other churches. We ask for a combination of all of these lists uh, because we know that's not uh, overwhelming to you. It's not going to be too taskful for you to do. So we ask that you combine all of these lists and that you would consider every name on the list because I know that every name on the list has a, every every name has a list has a different consideration. Every person on the list is in need of something different from the other person. And so we, what, what makes it so wonderful is that we serve you and we know that you're able, you have the capability, the know-how, and you have the technique and the method to be able to decipher through all of these lists. And you're able to distinguish, you're able to categorize, you're able to separate each list and to attach it to the name of the person on that list. And so we ask, oh God, we, we, we are not going to be specific in terms of telling you how to go about doing what you do. But we ask, we will ask you specifically about meeting everybody's need today. We ask every that every need, whatever, whatever the substance of the need, whatever the category of the need, we pray that every need will be satisfied. We pray, God, that you will send your forth your blessings of healing and forgiveness and restoration, uh, that you would 
ease every anxiety, calm every uh, fear, uh, lift everyone who is depressed, encourage those who are fearful. And then, God, we ask that you would fix hearts and fix minds. And then, Father God, not that I'm paying any favor, but I'm, I'm asking uh, specifically for the Hamlin family today, that young man who is in Cincinnati. I know you, I know, I, I know that you, because your God is at all places at all times. You, you were there, uh, not as a, not necessarily as a football spectator, but you were there the other night uh, when that game was going on. You knew this was going to happen. So I'm asking, oh God, that you would bless this Hamlin family. Bless this young man who's struggling in a literary sense, struggling for his life. We ask, oh God, uh, that you would do that, that you would encourage that family, that they may be able to look to the hills and look and see that their help come from the Lord. Bless those who, football players who have been adversely affected by that, the players that are dealing with that and that are dealing with the sorrow of that and, and, and with the anxiety of that. We pray that you just bless all of them and all the people in the sports world who, who are praying for this man. Thank you for those who are contributing. And we just we just bless your name. Uh, uh, just bless this ministry and this to grow this. I'm asking that you would grow this ministry, this this prayer ministry. I'm praying for growth and success and, and productivity, uh, that lives will be impacted, that people that hope will be spread and that that encouragement will go forth. That's what I'm praying for. Bless every one of these supporters uh, uh, that support this ministry. May, may this ministry be a blessing to them and their family, blessing to me and my family. And I just ask all of this in the name of Jesus. So again, thank you for all that you do for us. Thank you for looking out for us and thank you for caring for us. And we ask all of this, all of these things and much more that we did not even utter. We ask these things in the precious, promising and powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right. Um, hey, Sister God bless you today. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, we look forward to seeing you. It's good to be back together after two weeks uh, on vacation. A much needed, well, I said much needed vacation. Uh, a, a time for me to rejuvenate uh, and probably a time for you to rejuvenate too. God bless you so much and God keep you as our prayer. Now, for those of you that will be attending with us tonight at six o'clock in New Jerusalem, we're going to be changing our subject tonight. Uh, we're going to be talking our topic for the next few weeks are going to be, well, some considerable amount of weeks is going to be who am I in Christ? And so we look forward to you coming. Uh, we look forward to streaming it out. Uh, our topic will be who am I in Christ? And so God bless all of you. We love you so much. Uh, have a wonderful day and be careful and be safe. And we plan if it is God's will, our plans are to be with you next week at the same time, doing the same thing that we're doing now. Be blessed and we'll see you later. God bless.